Hi everyone, today's headlines. Protesting farmers finally enter Delhi. State COVID tally rises to 11,091 cases. Condolence on demise of Long Bay ex MLA. ATK Morgan Began beat East Bengal 2 0 in ISL. Town Council status granted to Newland. DOAC notifies on cancellation of winter vacation, 12 days break for Christmas and New Year. Nifirio inaugurates State Polytechnic Station at Aboy Town. ENSF condemns November 18 incident at Tongsu village. News in details. Protesting farmers finally enter Delhi. Hundreds of farmers entered the national capital on Friday to hold peaceful protests at North Delhi ground after facing tear gas and water cannons and clashing with security personnel, while thousands remain at border points undecided whether to go to the demonstration site identified by police. State COVID-19 rises to 11,091. Nagaland on Friday recorded 31 new COVID-19 positive cases, 14 in Dimapur, 12 in Kohima, 3 in Peran, and 1 each in Mon and Tunzang, taking the total count to 11,091 cases. Condolence on demise of Long B X MLA. Nagaland Chief Minister Nifuri has expressed pain on learning of the passing away of Long B Meru, former MLA of 7 Peran AC at, at CIHSR Dimapur on November 27. In his condolence message to the bereaved family, Rio said, Late Longby served as CEO at Perrin before joining politics and became the first elected MLA from 7 Perrin AC. He said Late Longby had genuine concern for the Naga political issue when he along with 11 other MLAs of Democratic Party of Nagaland resigned from the House for solution to the issue. ATK Mohan Bagan beat East Bengal 2-0 in ISL. Second half of goals by Roy Krishnan and Manvir Singh gave ATK Mohan Began the victory 2-0 against East Bengal in Indian Super League, first Kolkata Derby on Sunday. The red and gold showed a lot of promise on the field but could not beat the Began defense which stood strong till the end. At the other end, Krishnan quality came to fore and proved to be a big difference between the two teams. Town Council status granted to Newland. State government has officially recognized and granted Newland subdivision as full-fledged town council on Friday. Newland has a population of 1,158 of which 595 are males while 563 are females as per population census 2011. On the occasion, the monolith celebration the recognition of town council was unveiled by Minister of PHED Jacob Zimomi after it was dedicated by SBC Newland Pastor Tokiwi Yepto. DOSC notifies on cancellation of winter vacation, 12 days break for Christmas and New Year. The Directorate of School Education Government of Nagaland on Friday informed that the winter vacation declared to schools functioning under Department of School Education, Nagaland via office notification dated December 9, 2020 stands cancelled. The principal director DOSC Shanava CIS informed that the schools shall remain closed on account of Christmas and New Year holidays from December 23, 2020 to January 3, 2021 and shall resume functioning from January 4, 2021. Nifirio inaugurates State Polytechnic Stadium at Aboy Town. Chief Minister Nifirio inaugurated the State Polytechnic Institute and Multi-Utility Come Indoor Badminton Stadium at Aboy Town in Mon District on Friday in the presence of Deputy Chief Minister Y. Paton, Higher and Technical Education and Tribal Affairs Minister Temjin Imna Along, DUDA Advisor N. Bokko Konyak, DPDP Chairman N. Tongwang Konyak, Advisor to Chief Minister Medo Yoka, and 47th Aboy MLA Isaac Husam. Speaking at the public function organized on the occasion at the town local ground, the Chief Minister announced that the academic program of the Polytechnic would commence from 2021 to 2022 session. Observing that Naga society was very young in civilization, he said priority was being given to the backward areas and expressed his wish to see the people enjoy the fruit of development. ENSF condemns November 18 incident at Tongsu village. Eastern Naga Students Federation has condemned the November 18 incident at Tongsu village where some houses were burned down while one person was killed and another seriously injured by some miscreants. In a press release, Federation Vice President Ham Ye Ang and Assistant General Secretary Kum Cho observed that such incidents showed a new law to which our society has plung. They asserted that such incidents could not be accepted in the modern and civilized society. 
adding that such violence did not have any place in the civilized society. Asking the investigating agency to immediately book the culprits and award befitting punishment as per law. ENSF declared that it stood with the resolution of Eastern Nagaland People's Organization wherein any dispute, misunderstanding within Eastern Nagaland people should be localized within the parties involved and resolve it within the groups concerned through peaceful dialogue. That's all for now. TKS's latest news. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Thank you.